Hello everyone, welcome to iExam B. Today in this video, I'll be continuing ahead with our series with respect to what to study from the various law subjects if you are preparing and appearing for the various competitive law exams. So already this series has started and we have many apps related important sections, provisions, which are very important and you have to emphasize with respect to the various competitive law exams we have discussed till date. In this particular video also, I'll be continuing ahead with another app which I am going to tell you about in the important sections and provisions. In case you have missed any of the any of the previous videos which we have come up in this particular series, you can go to the description of this particular video wherein you will find the link of all those previous videos and you can see it and you can enhance your preparations. Before we move ahead with our today's discussion, let me remind you over here that do remember to subscribe to our channel and press on the bell icon so that you can stay tuned and stay updated. If you have any questions, hai, queries, hai, doubt clarify, karna hai, aap hume contact us through the email ID which is displayed on the screen or you can even give us a call on this particular number. Apart from this, do remember to visit the website wherein you will get the details with respect to the various competitive law exams, a detailed information with respect to them. So stay tuned and stay updated. Now moving ahead with our today's discussion. So in this particular video, Ash may discuss karne wali hu Aapse, what to study from the Sale of Goods Act 1930. So, Sale of Goods Act se related kaun kaun se important sections hai, provisions hai, which you have to actually emphasize and have to be very thorough with them if you are preparing for any of the competitive law exams. So, moving ahead with that, you can see that the Sale of Goods Act is actually a law which is regulating and governing what? The sale and purchase of the goods. From the name also you can make it out. So, basically sale and purchase of goods are related as aspects ko sales of goods act ke andar regulate kiya gaya hai usse related provisions provide kiye gaye hain and basically it is providing a legal framework for governing the rights and obligations of both the parties the buyers and the sellers in a contract of sale this agar hum iske important sections ki baat kare so you can see that section 2 the definition section which is important next comes our section 4 to section 6 which is dealing with the aspects of sale and agreement to sell so is there any difference between them, what do they mean? All those aspects you have to understand, and the provisions are contained in the section four. Fair contract of sale, how that has to be made, then existing or future goods. So, what are they? All those provisions they have been covered under these sections. Fair hamara section 11 to 15 hai, which is basically talking about stipulations as to time, condition, and warranty kya hai with respect to sale and purchase of goods, when the condition they are to be treated as a warranty, what is sale by description, ya fir implied undertaking as to the title etc. So, these are all aspects cover in se related important provisions which are section 11 to 15. Mein hai. So, this is also important from the exam point of view. Then section 18 is important hai, which is talking about goods must be ascertained with respect to the ascertainment of the goods and all the provisions have been contained. Then sale by the person who is not the owner. So, what are the provisions with respect to any sale which is made by a person who is actually not the owner of that particular good and all the related aspects have been covered under section 27. Then, our section Section 29 to 31, which is talking about sale by person in possession under voidable contract. So, voidable contract, what they are, it should be very clear with you. And then, if any sale is made by any person who is actually in possession under a voidable contract, and all, what will be effects? Honge? Seller or buyer in possession after sale and duties of seller and buyer. So, what are the respective duties of each of their parties under the Sale of Goods Act that is also being covered under these sections? Next, if we look on to further, Aapka section 43 important hai, that is buyer not bound to return the rejected goods so there is no obligation on the buyer in this behalf then section 45 to 47 bohat important hai, unpaid seller con hai, that definition the concept has to be very clear and thorough unpaid sellers ke kya kya right hai, sellers lane so all these are very important topic you can say very very important over here so in se questions aate hi hai. then termination of lane so section 49 is talking about termination of the lane and then section 50 is talking about right of stoppage in transit. This is also important. Then section 52 is talking about how stoppage in transit that is being affected and all. Section 58 and 59 is talking about specific performance and remedy in case of breach of warranty. So what are the remedies available in case there is any breach of the warranty and all which is there with respect to the goods. 61 jo hai hamara section that is basically providing the provisions with respect to interest by way of damages and special damages. 
and lastly which is important is section 64 which talks about reasonable time which is a question of fact so all these are very important provisions from the sale of goods act so with this we come to an end of our today's discussion with respect to the important sections provisions of the sale of goods act or what to study from sale of goods act so do remember to subscribe to our channel and press on the bell icon so that you can stay tuned and stay updated because we at i exam b help you in preparing for your exams 50% faster with our crisp and precise content so stay tuned and stay updated